What's going on guys? Tanner back here bringing you another video and what I got for you guys today is we are going to be discussing the topic of has anything really changed in the Air Force because of COVID and is anything going back to normal? Now this is just going to be an update video. I've given you guys two other videos kind of like this and I've been updating you as much as I can. I'm going to give you a little bit of info about what's going on with active duty and so you can understand to see and we'll talk about how that correlates to you guys going into basic. But uh, before I get to that, I just like to say thank you to everyone who's been supporting the channel. We are so close to 4K. We're like 120 subs off of 4K. So if you know anyone who's trying to go into the military, please show them the channel, show them the content, see if we can get to 4K as fast as possible. Without further ado, let's get right into today's video. So with going into BMT, a lot of you guys are trying to figure out what is going to be happening with COVID. And a lot of that is very, very stressful because you don't know if you're going to be going to Keesler, if you're going to Lackland, if you're going to be having to go through ROM, what PT is going to be like, all these different things. And it's understandable to be very nervous about what it's going to be like. But I can assure you that it's still going to be easy going through it. A lot of people are like, oh, it was really, really hard, but they don't know what normal BMT is like. So they'll understand that it's not much harder. It's really, really not. I've talked to people who are MTIs. I have my old MTI I still talk to. You know, like everyone has said that it, nothing is really changing to where it's like a different degree of difficulty. So there's not much you need to worry about. Now, when it comes to things changing for us, the shop I work at, we are a detachment of Grand Forks, which is in North Dakota. That's another Air Force base. So they want to go back to a normal schedule which is understandable, COVID cases in North Dakota are pretty much minimal, there's not many. So they wanna go back to normal working hours. And since we're a detachment, they said we need to go back to our normal manning as well. But California has some of the highest COVID rates in the entire nation. So there's kind of that middleman like, hey, some people wanna open back up to full capacity because there's not COVID cases. Other bases are like, hey man, that's like a zoo out here, we can't really do that. So there's a lot of give and take of what's going to happen and it's very stressful and no one really knows what is going on. You know, when you ask me questions like, hey, what's going on with BMT? I try to get you guys the best information, but no one really knows and that's the hardest part about this whole situation. No one really knows what's gonna be happening. Now, a lot of you guys also ask, you know, what do I need to learn specific things when I'm going there? No, I'm just throwing this in there as well. I've been getting this comment a lot, but you don't need to know anything going in. They're gonna teach everything to you. So don't, don't worry about that. You know, you're stressing yourself out more than you need to going into basic with everything going on with COVID because you're gonna have your two weeks of ROM and your five and a half weeks of training. Just go in there with an open mind, show up ready and in shape, and that's all you're gonna need. Just because of what's going on with COVID right now, don't overstress yourself because you're already putting yourself into a stressful environment. You don't wanna make it worse for no reason at all. There's nothing to be worried about with what's going on right now at basic because of COVID. You know, they're trying to make changes to open things back up as COVID cases start to slow down in some states and they're picking up in others. So bases in California are probably going to be closed down a lot longer than bases in other states. Places like North Dakota, Alaska, you know, places where there's not as many people per capita and cases are a lot lower, they're going to try to reopen. So with that, they might start pushing for BMT to open a little bit more, but the problem with that is, is there are so many trainees coming through basic at one time that it really puts a lot of stress on higher up leadership in the Air Force to make that decision of whether or not they want to open it back up and risk with all these new airmen, thousands of airmen every month getting pushed through, whether or not they're going to be able to get through without having a massive outbreak of COVID. And that's the hard part is trying to figuring that out. Now, from what it looks like, I would say probably in six to eight months, this is gonna you know, start to slow down and things will open back up. In my opinion, once the election's over, a lot of the COVID talk is going to disappear. I feel like it is a, there's a lot of political stuff going on with it. Whether what party you're a part of, we don't get into politics, but I feel like once the election's over, Anytime there's something big coming up before an election, once it's over, it usually goes away. So I'm not saying that COVID's not real. What I'm saying is you're going to see a lot more things open up. And, you know, for a lot of people, that's a good thing. You know, for a lot of people who want to go to basic, that's a very good thing. And so I'm hoping that, you know, things can open back up where they can start limiting, you know, how many people go through, but things aren't going to be as restricted. You're not going to need your two weeks of restricted movement. You're going to be able to go and get off base when you get to tech school, because that's a lot of the problem is people going to tech school don't get to really leave base. They don't get to experience tech school to its fullest capabilities. They don't really get that full freedom. They feel like they're still at basic kind of, yeah, you get your phone and your video games and stuff, and you not really have a curfew. You have to be in your room, but you don't have to be asleep. 
But you don't get to go off base. You don't get to experience the cities you're in and stuff. And that's what really sucks for a lot of people. But I feel like probably within six to eight months, you can expect a lot of stuff to be opening back up. So if you're going to be going to basic in six to eight months, you're going to be at tech school in six to eight months, or you're just going to be at your standard base. It's going to be a lot more open and available. I would probably say 60%. Now, this is a number I'm coming up with just from what it looks like with things opening back up, shifts opening back up, other bases trying to open back up. And just seeing overall cases of COVID going down in a lot of parts, you know, a majority of states cases are going down. And then there's some bigger states where the capita, people per capita is higher, like California, Florida, New York, their states are going to continue to rise because there's so many damn people in these states and they're so confined, especially the city of New York. Everyone's on top of each other pretty much 24 seven. Like it's, it's really hard for states like that to recover. But expect within six to eight months that you guys are going to be able to start going to basic freely and being able to leave base and things of that nature. Now, some of this came up from Air Force, you know, a lot like some of this information and some of it came from speculation. So take it with a grain of salt. I'm doing this as, you know, the best as I can of doing my research and seeing what's really going on and what leadership is saying. So do with this information as you will, you know, talk to your recruiters about it, see what they think. But that's what I got for you guys today. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. You did learn a little bit about what's going on with some bases opening back up and some closing. I hope it was informative and I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please smash the like button on this video. Share the content with other people who you know are going into basic if they're not aware of the channel. We got the best Air Force content on the platform right here. Just comment if you are new to the channel let me know say hello whatever it may be let me know what you guys want to see next subscribe if you are new as well turn on the post notification bell to know when we post a video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out i love you all stay safe and have a great day Lay. I got a feeling you niggas don't like me. I'm talking vacation. This shit can get pricey. They know I'm the greatest. My nigga, that's Nike. I do what I do. I just do it like Nike. Needed some help. She started twerking. She said it is mine. If I go put the work in, I secured the bag and I bought her a Birkin. No, I can't swim, so I drown in the ocean. This is the mask I'm doing the most. They praying I fall. I'm killing their hopes. Looking at me like they're seeing a ghost.